The lake reached its highest storage for this water year on May 8 at 776.95 feet elevation and 1.94 million acre feet, according to the Department of Water Resources, which is roughly 400,000 acre feet greater than the peak in 2021. The water year concludes on September 30, and considerable rainfall is unlikely before then, DWR officials wrote in an email. The greater peak lake level this year is due to a record-setting atmospheric river in October 2021 and a heavy snowfall in December 2021, according to the DWR. The lake is still below average for the season, according to DWR, because the North State had below average precipitation this year, with the driest January, February, and March in a century. On Friday, the lake level was 766 feet, which was 68 feet higher than the level in 2022 and 43 feet lower than the level in 2022. The Lake Oroville State Recreation Areas for Asphalt Boat Ramps are currently operational, according to the DWR, and the lake level is expected to drop to roughly 675 feet, allowing the boat ramp at Bidwell Canyon to stay operational. The Edward Hyatt Power Plant, which sits behind Oroville Dam, was turned off for the first time in its history on August 5, 2021, after water levels fell to 641.93 feet, just below the minimum quantity of water required for operation. According to DWR, the power plant will be able to continue producing hydropower for the rest of the year.